Here in this code sample, if you check the web config file, you will find the trace enabled equals true, which means that tracing is enabled. We can then, for each and every web page, specify whether we want the tracing to take place or not. We do that by placing the trace attribute within the page directive. We shall place it assigned with false or true accordingly. Well, here in this code sample, if we check the output, we shall see that a part of the expected output from that very specific web page, we get something else we get data, detailed information about what happens here. And when I press the button and there is a um, request sent to the server and then a reply returns back to the web browser, we can track and see exactly what happened and if there is any bottleneck we can identify it. We can also see the exact um, data regarding the cookies, session, headers, both the ones that uh, were sent together with the request, as well as the ones we received together with the response.